Hi, welcome back to the Guillemot Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Shada and I'm working on making a feathered kayak paddle. So this is your standard kayak paddle and actually some of them will be feathered, some will be unfeathered, but uh, essentially it's the process for making any kind of laminated paddle or, or whatever. So in this episode I'm going to work on cutting the blade blanks down into blade pieces. So a couple things. I have a jig I make that is a quick and easy way to cut the shape of the blades into a nice consistent curve um, and so I'm going to make that jig and then get the paddle blanks ready to go and then start cutting some of the blade pieces. So thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoy. This is a 16 inch long blank. Um, so I'm going to cut blades out of it kind of like this. So these are pre-curved blades. This happens to be a 19 inch long blade, but that's the kind of blade I want to cut out of it. So wide at one end, narrow at the other end, and pre-curved. If you look at the off cut here, I laid out the grain so it is kind of a book match. So you can just make out on the grain here that it comes out, then comes back in. I want to have the curve of this come and be sort of the grain at the wide point in the middle and the narrow point at the end, so like that. So here's the narrow and it's wider down here. So you want the curve of the blade to curve from here Kind of like that. So it starts out here where the grain is narrow, coming close together, and then as it goes towards the middle of the blade, it cuts deeper into it where the grains are a little bit wider, and then as it comes back to the end, it is again narrow. So when I set up to do the cut the blades, I'm going to cut the curvature this way. And that's just an aesthetic thing, doesn't need to be that way, but that's just the way I've decided and it looks nice. So that's what I'm going to set up to do. 
So here I have a pattern for a blade for that curvature again, wide at the butt end, narrow at the tip end. And this is thicker at the tip end than it actually needs to be. I'll end up shaving this down more, but it just gives me some room to deal with misalignment. It's about a quarter inch here, about a half an inch here. So I'm just going to trace this pattern on, starting at the very tip. So I've got a line there, fairly visible in the video. And now we're going to take and swap this end for end and retrace it. So just line that line back up again and then keep flipping it back and forth. All right, so I've marked it all out and I should be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blades out of it. Um, each paddle's gonna use uh, two blade, two of these at each end. Um, so it's gonna take four and so I should get two full paddles out of there plus an extra blade. We'll see if I have a use for the extra blade, but that just gives me a chance to screw up a little bit and have a spare. So I made a uh, blade cutting jig on my CNC machine that consists of essentially a fence. This will be the curve for the 16 inch blade. The uh, saw blade goes right in here. And then this will be the sled where I put the blanks. So the blanks going like this and get clamped down like that and ride up against this fence, kind of like that. First thing I want to do is to just make this clamp nice and secure. I'm going to put some self-adhesive uh, sandpaper on here, just some really coarse stuff. This is 60 grit and that'll make it so when I clamp this down, the uh, blank won't move. Also, I'll put some screws through these holes to just create the clamping pressure to hold that in place. So the fence piece is attached to the fence such the blade will fit in that little notch and then we'll just Put some clamps on it to hold it there. We want to have it set so it's pretty much even with this surface here. It looks like a good starting point. And this piece will just run straight along there. So make sure the clamps aren't in the way. This one's interfering a little bit.
Now, obviously, you could have made these um, freehand without my little jig here, but you see the jig does speed things up quite a bit. You know, if you don't have a bandsaw, you could actually cut each of these laminations separately into individual thin pieces and glue those up using a jigsaw, you know, saber saw, something like that, if you don't have the bandsaw. To pre-cut those curved pieces, the bandsaw is really nice. Um, and this jig makes things go a lot quicker. But obviously you could do this process with some other tools and end up with the same result. It might take a little bit longer, but the final paddle's not going to be any worse for it if you have a different set of tools that you want to do it with. So thanks for watching this episode. Um, in the next episode, we'll cut the shafts to size, taper them, cut the scarf in them if they need it, and hopefully get the blades glued on. So if you're liking this kayak paddle build and you'd like to see more videos like it, please support the channel by subscribing to it, liking this video, sharing my videos with other people. And if you're really into it, go over to my Patreon page, uh, chip a little bit of money in to support the process of making these videos. It really helps a lot and I appreciate your support. So until the next video, thanks for watching and happy paddling.